There's nothing like it in the world of professional bowling. Yes, that's right, that's right. The PBA League. 12 teams made up of the world's greatest bowlers, each trying to capture the Elias Cup. Tonight, it's the Carter Division semifinals with a legend, Norm Duke, and two-time champion, Dallas. Against Liz Johnson, Shannon O'Keefe, and the new Phoenix Fury. And later, Dom Barrett, Tom Smallwood, and the Philadelphia Hitman. Take on former player of the year, Andrew Anderson, and league newcomer, Las Vegas, who will capture the Elias Cup. The PBA League continues right here, right now, on FS1. Bolero Centerville is just moments from Washington, D.C. It's also home to the 2020 PBA League. We started with 12 teams and two divisions. We're down to six teams, all going for one thing, the Elias Cup. We continue our divisional semifinal Monday with the Carter Division Semis. Second seeded Dallas, led by player manager Norm Duke. Take on expansion Phoenix loaded with PWBA stars like Shannon O'Keefe. Then the top seeded Philadelphia Hitman featuring Dom Barrett. Take on the fourth seed expansion Las Vegas squad. Coming off an impressive two-game sweep over Brooklyn here last night in the divisional quarterfinals. Five-player Baker Bowling race to two-game wins. If it's tied 1-1, we just saw it in the last match. We'll have a one-ball roll-off to determine the winner. Now let's meet the bowlers and their managers. Ready to strike. Two time, Elias Cup champ. It's a winner! Dallas Striker. Let's meet the Dallas Strikers. He owns three PBA regional titles, Brad Miller. A three-time member of Team USA, Nick Pate. A 12-time PBA champion with two majors, Bill O'Neill. He is a record four-time Elias Cup champion, 20 career PBA titles, two majors. PBA Player of the Year and Hall of Famer, Tommy Jones. The Dallas Strikers player manager is a time the last cup champion with four career PBA two titles and two majors. Norm Duke. Here are the Phoenix Fury. New to the PBA League 2020. Phoenix Fury. A 12 time member of Team Colombia with two PWBA titles, Maria Jose Rodriguez. A three time member of Team USA with two PWBA tour wins, Jordan Richard. A 16-time member of Team USA with three PWBA titles, Stephanie Johnson. She owns 24 career PWBA Tour titles with 10 majors, Liz Johnson. The two-time PWBA Player of the Year, Shannon O'Keefe. The Phoenix Fury are managed by 10-time PWBA champion, Kim Terrell Kearney. Welcome back, Boeing fans, to Centerville, Virginia. PBA League rolls on here on FS1. Dave and Randy back with you, rejoined by Kimberly Pressler with our lane-level interviews in a moment. Randy, wow, <laughs> that was dramatic. A 180, really, polar opposite between match one and two in the first match. No problem at all for the defending champion, Lumberjacks. Match two, another roll off for Bruce City. Sean Raff steps up again and again, gets the job done. I mean, that's why you have a guy like that on your team, right? And Sean Rash, no stranger to that position or situation. And, you know, as a 
as a top-level professional, that's what you live for. I mean, you live for those moments, and when you come through, there's no better feeling. So now it's the PBA against the PWBA again in the first match. It's the Fury. It's Dallas. What's the best way to break this down, Randy? I mean, the Fury was pretty amazing, weren't they? And I anticipated this. I called this that they were going to be a handful. And sure enough, they took the Adam splitters and split both games and then went to a roll-off. Stephanie Johnson was real good in that leadoff position, striking three or four times. But it goes to the roll-off. Chris Vi gets nine after Shannon ties Tom Doherty. And then the stage was set for Maria Jose Rodriguez. She throws 10 back, and they eliminate the Adam splitters. Pretty impressive. So here they are now taking on Norm Duke and his Dallas Strikers. So for Dallas and player manager Norm Duke, who's been here before and has tremendous pros on his team, like Bill O'Neill getting warmed up here and Tommy Jones, great champions on the PBA Tour. You break down that starting five, what do you see, Randy? I see a solid team from top to bottom. Um, the greatness of Norm Duke, not only as a player, but as a motivator and the way he manages his team. Uh, I see Tommy Jones and Bill O'Neill, two of the best uh, that the PBA Tour has to offer. And then I see Nick Pate and Brad Miller that are real solid in their own rights, some up and comers, if you will. Uh, I think the team is as solid as it gets and they know exactly what the Phoenix Fury is bringing to the table. They will not be overlooked by Dallas. Odds are now live on Fox Bet, available in Colorado and Pennsylvania, presented for entertainment purposes in all other states. Strikers minus 250 and the Fury plus 200. When we come back to Suburban D.C., time to bowl. Carter Division semifinals get underway. A fantastic matchup. Dallas and Phoenix go head to head. The PBA on FS1 is brought to you by Go Bowling. For promotional offers, tips to improve your game, news or to locate a bowling center near you. Log on to GoBowling.com. By Light Life, the official plant-based burger partner for the PBA. At Light Life, our passion is making great tasting plant-based food with simple, clean ingredients. And by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at Rate.com today. What a matchup we've got for you. PBA against the PWBA, Fury against the Strikers. Kimberly joined by the two anchor bowlers, Duke and O'Keefe. Thanks, Dave. So, Shannon, let's talk about last night. You guys were really calm. You were dancing at one point, except when it came to that roll-off. Then you guys were all business. So what's the mindset coming into tonight? The mindset is just to stay focused on us and get in our little world that we got into last night and let everything else drown and fade away. That's our, our mindset. All right, well, good luck to you Thank guys. You. And Norm, you know what? You guys have won this twice, but you guys are going up against an all-female team who took out three-time champions, the Adam Splitters. Are you guys worried? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they got some fate on their side, Kimberly, but you know what? We're going we're gonna to bowl like the Strikers, and we're going to try to take them down. I'll tell you why. We are a little nervous about it, to tell you the truth, but that's, that's sport. Absolutely. This is going to be a good match. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. All right, we're talking 42 feet of oil. That's the Mark Roth pattern. We've seen this pattern attacked a couple different ways. You can go pretty straight right around second arrow. We saw Sean Rash do that in the last matchup, or you can stand in and throw out. And the players with the big hands and the big curve, we're going to see a lot of that. Away we go, Carter Division semifinals. Interesting spot for Tommy Jones as we take a look at the Baker format. Tommy will bowl first and sixth frame, Miller second and seventh, Nick Pate third and eighth, and so on. But we normally see Tommy Jones in the anchor position for the most part. Lead off position now, RP, and knocks the ball down. Good start for the strikers. Good anyway, shot. A little bit less angle, that's only about a 10 board belly. As you can see, 17.8 at the arrows, out to about seven. And the Phoenix Fury lineup will start with Steph Johnson, Maria Jose Rodriguez, Jordan Richard. They've moved Liz Johnson 
out of the anchor position. I thought they would. She struggled yesterday, and Shannon O'Keefe was brilliant. Johnson, high shot, 3-6-10. It looks slow to me out of her hand, and well, you could really see that ball bite the outside part of the lane. Around a little early and then just a little on the slow side. This ball hooks a lot. But no split, just the 3 6 10, but no bargain. Missed the three. All right, all right. Early open, early break for Dallas. Tough start for Phoenix. Brad Miller up. Lee Summit, Missouri, a huge, and I mean huge, KC Chiefs fan. Still celebrating that Chiefs Super Bowl win last year. Good start continues for Dallas. And that's exactly what you want to do is take advantage of the open break. You know, I, I got I to gotta go backwards for a minute, Dave. You know, all we did was talk about in our interviews how the, the women said they were better spare shooters than the men, and then some of the men said the women were better spare shooters. And now on this team right here, uh, it's back-to-back -back with spares. Liz Johnson last night missing the 3-6. And now the 3-6-10 is missed. 10-pin here for Maria, chance right, to change the trend, but RP, you're absolutely right. That was a big theme of the interviews. We talked with all teams and managers here the other day. I, I mean, just, I just felt compelled to bring that up. I, it, it was shocking to see Liz miss that 6-10, no question. Okay. Right, Maria. Maria takes care of the 10-pin, no worries there. Good job, okay. Has the Lots mark. Lots of time, you guys. Lots of time. Here's Nick Pate outside Minneapolis. I imagine a Viking fan like myself suffering through the 0 3 start. <laughs> oh. Sorry to hear. Tough one yesterday with Tennessee. Pate gets oh, that bump yeah. on the 10, down it goes. Oh, he caught the leaner. Three in a row to start game one for the Strikers. Nick Pate making a telecast in the Indianapolis Open earlier this year. And watch the six pin go to the sidewall and just lean on the 10. Steps up. Come on, oh, JoJo. Really good. Great shot, 10 pin. Great shot. Former PWBA Tour Rookie shot, of the Year. Get it. At 24 years old, real great future for Jordan. Former star, collegiate at Arkansas State and Central so Missouri. Right All right, Jordan, good girl. First ever to win yep. NCAA good Bowling good good shots, guys. Player of the Year awards at different levels. First in NCAA history. That's amazing accolade for Jordan. Well, well, this well, guy's got an accolade or two. I'll tell you what, what, what the last like two or three years Bill O'Neill's had, boy, when he was struggling big time, turned his game around, went back to what he does best, and he has been lights out for the last three years. The real deal steps up for Dallas. Takes care of business. So good. He's got Thanks. such great touch for a medium rev guy, and that's how he's able to compete with the big hands out here. Yeah, he knew it. <laughs> Air fives. Air fives for sake. Don't, don't, it, no touch. Good thing it's on that lane. All right. Interesting to see how Liz will respond after yesterday's trouble with a 6-10 in the anchor spot. Changing positions for this match and seven pin stands for Liz. Dave, I sent Liz a text earlier this afternoon. Good for you. And I asked her what happened. And she said, you know, I had a terrible time with my feel. Um, my rhythm was bad. And then all of a sudden, I, my hands started to shrink and swell. And, that, and remember when she got up to shoot the 3-6, she actually took a piece of tape 
out of the thumb hole and then dropped it. She said she just had a terrible time with Fields. Good, Good cover there. But they're in big trouble early, and we're almost halfway through game one. They haven't struck yet, and the strikers are perfect. Living up to the team nickname. Randy's neighbor, Orlando area, the legend Norm Duke. 40 titles. Looking for the front five. Oh, that comes in high, and whoa. whoa. Could have been split. 6-10 is up seven pin. Thought about creating a massive challenge for Normie. Heck of a break there. That's 6-7-10 all day, and then all of a sudden, just the 6-10. Norm, one of the few players left on tour that doesn't use a spare ball, uses the same strike ball flat with his hand out. All right, let's take it. Take that break. Right. He's Sorry, happy guys. with that. That's well, a good start for them. Yeah, Four out of five isn't right. bad, right. especially it when they're strung together. Here is women's tour star Shannon O'Keefe. A brilliant talent and a great coach. Kendra Bearcats, 10 pin there, good shot. That's pretty good. Great shot. Good one, Shannon. Run it over, just get comfortable. You know, they, they really haven't thrown it all that bad, but the open frame in the first and no strikes through five frames, and they're down by, what's the number? I can't see it. 42, down by 42. Got the 10 pin, got the mark. But midway point, strikers are successful. They are rolling here, Randy, in Centerville. A lot of strikes being thrown by the Dallas strikers. TJ, Pate, and don't forget the Duke. Here we go, nothing like a nice clean break and that's a great one right there with the six leaning into the 10 for Nick. The clean break of the game brought to you by Light Life. Light Life, the official plant-based burger partner for the PBA. At Light Life, our passion is making great tasting plant-based food with simple, and, and, clean and also ingredients. Yeah, you were at least third in line there. Here we go, second half in the race of two of the first game, Strikers. All right. Trying right, to make the Carter Division right final. And hope to win yet another Elias Cup. Tommy Jones, the Hall of Famer. Won his 20th title just hours after being inducted into the Hall of Fame. No. Just amazing. What a way to start the PBA Tour season for Tommy and a great start. That's why, that's why you start like that better than the flip. Got this one in a little bit and Apparently, the way the lanes have broken down for Dallas, they're not near as wet, dry, not near as cliffed as the, that's the term that the modern players or today's players use. And that ball got into the oil a little bit left to target and just walked itself right into the pocket. Tommy Jones gets it done, leadoff spot. How about Stephanie Johnson? That's off the mark again, missed the pocket. All right, go get it, Stephanie. For well, a second straight time. Sorry, Dave, you know, she got the Come first one a little bit right in the first frame, and she went through the nose, and, and then this time she kind of got away from that dry area and went a little bit straighter left of that spot, and this one doesn't hook at all. Three pins to cover, two, four, five here for Stephanie Johnson, herself a major champion on the PWBA Tour. Covers All nicely. Right, Good girl. All right, guys. Good job. Not the right ball. I should have read it better. Right ball. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. Remember, it's the race to two. Win two games and move on. If the two teams split, we will go to a one ball roll off. Jones truck. First and fifth. How about Brad Miller? Can he strike twice as well? Great yes, job, he can. Miller looks Great good. And job. the strikers are rolling here. 
Yeah, well, I'll Love tell you that. what, one more strike for the strikers, and they're going to get penalized for unnecessary roughness. I mean, they're just piling it on right now, like and the Fury's still on, looking for their first strike. <laughs> Maria Jose Rodriguez didn't like it. And it's a high shot. Get it. And the 3 6 10 up. So left lane trouble for Phoenix the entire match here, Randy, with the game. And the race to two. Well, I mean, this is a route. Uh, they haven't struck yet. Uh, not what I expected. That's shocking. Not what I expected That's at all. That's just shocking. Um, this oil pattern is not that difficult in terms of getting to the pocket. We did see in our last match how, or that was the first match where you, you can struggle with pin carry. And we saw LAX leaving a lot of corner pins, but getting to the pocket shouldn't be an issue. Six of seven strikes so far for Dallas. Nick Page, seven of eight. Way to go. 68 pin lead for Dallas here as they are blasting the Fury in the first game. And again, you can see the technique of the hand staying more up the back of the bowling ball and less side rotation. You know, there's so many folks at home, so many amateurs that think their hands have to rotate around the side of the ball to get the ball to curve or to hook, and that's just not the case. There it is, celebration for Phoenix. They've got their first strike well, if nothing, of the match. If nothing else, they're staying loose. I mean, they are having a good time. And we saw that in the interview with Kimberly recapping the divisional quarterfinal win last night. <laughs> Sarcastic celebration. Hall of Fame credentials for O'Neill. Here, I got one for you, Dave. The only person or player that hasn't struck on the Dallas Strikers is Norm Duke. How about that? Oh, man. Something tells me he's going to change that. Well, they got max score 278. It's over. It'll go to game two with... The Fury being down one, and they'll need to find something in a hurry. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah, nice shot by Liz. Okay, a couple strikes in a row. You're talking about game two, building confidence. It's a race to two after all. And this one mathematically over Dallas. No problem. Maybe Norm can become the final striker to strike in game one. How about it, Norman? There yeah. you go, Norm. That's it, Norman. Two seed Dallas. Looking good. Kip Terrell, can you hear Randy? We'll try to connect with Kim soon. Legendary career. A couple of many accolades for Norm. Bringing 10 pin that time. I don't think get all the way there on this lane. Yeah. So I think like the 35 foot mark, I see it Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move a couple. Bill O'Neill talking strategy with his teammates. Big game there, 267. Nice going, guys. <laughs> I'll just keep doing Well do. said, Normie, well said. All Dallas, all the time. Game one, Jones and company. Wow. Take care of business against the Fury. Game two on the way from Centerville, B.A. Sunday on Fox, it's a star-studded showdown in Big D as Baker Mayfield and the Browns take on Dak, Zeke, and the Cowboys. Or you can catch the Giants against the Rams. Check your local listings for the game in your area or watch it on the Fox Sports app. Upset alert. Dolphins beat Seattle. Bold call. 
Dolphins beat Jacksonville last week. Fitz just unbelievable. What is it? Keeps on going. Dolphins QB for now. Let's see if Dallas can keep on going. What a weekend for Tommy Jones in Arlington, Texas. Hall of Fame induction. 300 championship game against Darren Tang. Starts off right, this second game with a 10 pin. How quickly Dallas can get lined up to this left lane will determine whether or not they win this game and vice versa for the Fury. Going to the manager for Fur the Fury, Kim Terrell. Kim, you guys got run over game one. What do you do to right the ship? Yes, certainly got ran over. You know, it's just a matter of making sure that we get the ball going through the pins the right way. Um, this lane's a little bit different than, than the left lane, so I think we're ready. You know, I, I, you know, we made some decisions. We talked about it. So I expect that, you know, things should turn around right here. Thanks, Kim. And it starts. For the Hall of Fame manager, Here. Stephanie Johnson. All right, pick it up. All right, all right. Come on, go get it, Steph. Go get That's it. Set. All right. 5'8. She was a little right with that. She's going to be okay. She's going to be all right with that. She's going to be okay. She's going to be all right with that. She's going to be all right with that. She's going to be all right with that. She's going to be right to get closer to the drier part of the lane. No mistakes for the Fury here. Covers, has her mark. Hey, that's a good shot. You can move off of that. I thought that was a good shot. Yeah, yeah. parallel right. And I'm just going to move right off of that. Absolutely. Yeah. It did the right thing. It just did all the right things. Wasn't from based the right. on what like, I saw in practice, I figured that was the right move to shimmy a little yes. bit. Yeah. And then it never saw it. Correct. So. It will just, I like, it was a good ball change. As did, Randy correctly evaluated. Did you hear said? I huh? did. did you? I did. Left lane, Miller. Good Ten shot. pin. Yeah, good that was shot. a good shot. Out there, Brad. Good shot, right now. Good pitch. This is what we've been seeing on this oil pattern for the players that like to, to throw the hook. We're in the Carter Division semifinals. Dallas, Phoenix, Miller, cross lane. There's a 10 pin, no problem. Anthony Division, finals are set. Portland, Bruce City. Right, Named after now, the guys. late great Don that Carter. Did you know that, that Don was the first bowler to ever sign a million dollar contract? I did. That's an amazing, yeah. amazing note for the legend. Anthony Division, of course, for Earl Anthony. Maria steps up, hero of the divisional quarterfinal in the roll off. And help on the seven. All right, there's that loose confidence we saw in the quarterfinals here yesterday. Yep. It doesn't take much to get him started, just a little bit of luck and a, and a break. And just get comfortable and understanding what you need to do to play that right lane. And the latest could be a handful this game against the Dallas Strikers. Here's Nick Pate. Wow. Crushes the Great rack shot. into oblivion. Great shot. Again, that forward end over end, heavy, heavy roll from Nick Pate. Just really blends out the old pattern. He's so good with his hand. And it's just matching up perfectly for him tonight. Exactly. Jordan Richards steps up. Oh. For some help. Right, right. Won't right, right. get to the 10. But avoided the 7 10 split. Go get it, JoJo. Stare it up. So however you make that happen, 
Former U.S. Amateur Champion. Jordan Richard takes care of the single pin spare conversion cross lane. Baker, team bowling five on five. Winner of game one gets that point. Winner of game two takes it. If we're tied after two, then we have the one ball roll off. Sudden victory. We'll keep having to roll off until we have a victor. Seen that a couple times, nothing quite like it to determine the match winner. The real deal, Bill O'Neill. One three pocket magic for Billy. Come on. Scary Come on. team. Come on, Norm. You got that guy there and Tommy Jones, Norm Duke, and then you've got a, a guy like Nick Pate who's just real comfortable right now. And Brad Miller, too. Randy has been in the zone himself. He looks sharp. Legend, Hall of Famer, Liz Johnson. Be close. Be close. How about a strike, Liz? And the right lane faring much better for the Fury here in game two. All right, shit. We've got a double. Another Light. living legend here. That's a high oh, shot on board. The four trip late. Down Light. it goes. One trip board deserves another. Matching Liz Johnson's trip board. Normie does the same thing here on the left lane. There we go. The patented fist pump by Norm Duke. How many times have we seen that fist pump, Brent? I mean, God. I can't, I've lost, I lost count at like uh, 438,000. What so many, I mean, that's so many shows he's made. O'Keefe steps up, anchor ball yes! Fury. Raging down the lane. And 60 feet to success for Phoenix. Well, they're not going to go quietly, and the Dallas Strikers know it. They got to keep the pressure on. They got to keep striking. If not, the Fury might get right back in this. Norm Duke, Hall of Fame legend, won an Elias Cup in 2016 with Dallas in Portland, Maine. And in 2017, as we take a look at our Go Bowling Elias Cup flashback, also Bayside Bowl, Portland, Maine. Strikers knocked off the Lumberjacks 5-1 to win their second in a row in the PBA League Championship. Norm Duke, Rhino Page, B.J. Moore, Bill O'Neill, Tommy Jones, so three of the five strikers in action tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good crew. Uh, they they didn't become the most popular team after taking out the, the hometown favorites, but you can see them right there behind them. But I'll tell you what, that, that was a solid team and a great effort. And I want to say that that was, uh, wasn't that the year that they bowled a perfect game? Come on, team. It was either that or the year before. That same crew had a perfect game on television with Norm Duke closing out the 10th frame. Tommy Jones knows a thing or two about winning Elias Cups. Here we go. Oh! Bingo. Yeah, big shot coming out of the break. Great shot. With the strikers working on a three-bagger, Tommy Jones just steps up, and some call it a hand bone, and others call it four in a row. I call it four-bagger. Pretty good stuff there for Tommy Jones. And that will definitely add some more pressure to the Fury. So, oh! another huge shot for Phoenix, looking for the turkey here. Stephanie Johnson, can't you get it done this time? Yeah! You bet. Yeah! Well, they needed that more than ever. I'll tell you, if Stephanie Johnson doesn't strike there, I don't think they have any chance of winning this game. Hey, remember earlier when I said Don Carter, this is the Don Carter division, that he was the first bowler to sign a million dollar, he was the first athlete to sign a million dollar contract. It's an amazing piece of sports history. It really is. If you think about it, you go back to the, I, I, I want to say it was the, the, the mid to late 60s when he signed it. Yeah, like, oh, early 60s, like 60 or 61. Oh, layoff. Brad Miller, oh, not oh. sure, we're sure, labels it. 
in the one three pocket. All ten back in the pit. Just shrapnel remaining after that shot from Miller. Five bagger for the Strikers. Long time team Columbia star, former Columbia star, UMES. Maria delivers. She's got a nice hand right here. Look at how she cups and then uncups. That's how she puts revolutions on it. Asking the ball to hold off just a little, and it does. Keeps the Fury in it. Nine pin match. Pate steps up. Trying for six in a row for Dallas. Nick Pate. Oh, Ten pin. Great shot, Nick. Yeah, it looked like he got a little Great bit shot. farther to the right. And then what happens is the angles increase, and there's the ringing 10 again. Not that it's a bad shot, but just a little bit farther right, so it has to cover a little more ground coming into the pocket. I mean, it looks great, but when that six zips around the 10 like that, the player tells himself, you know what? I, I, gotta, I gotta fix that angle entry into the pocket. Uh-oh. All right. Looked a little skinny on this side. Great shot, great shot. Good shot, Nick. Very All right, good. Willis, back on. Great international experience for Jordan Rich. This is the biggest shot of the match right here. In a match full of huge shots, you're right. To take the lead. You bet. Trip 10, down it goes. Very up two pins. Yeah, right when everybody was getting ready to change the channel because they thought it was a route. Not so fast, my friend. Jordan Richard steps up, trips the 10 out, and the Fury has taken the lead. Five bagger for Phoenix. Their pump, O'Neill. To set up the 10. Oh, yeah. Delivers. Has Bill O'Neill missed yet tonight? Wow. Locked yeah. in. He is locked in, Randy. On, I mean, uh, I mean, I get, the, I get it's Norm and all, but they want to consider that guy. If you go to a roll-off to throw the first shot, I mean, this guy's money. Norm's pick, player manager, Liz Johnson. Struggled last night, left the 6'10". Trying to keep it going for the Fury. Oh, yeah. Ten pin stands. Got into that weak on, 10 Liz. zone and Go get it, Liz. that ball was DOA on arrival Go there. The Watch the six pin go to the sidewall and just not enough power going through the pins to get it to come off of that and into the 10. And now they're in jeopardy of getting shut out. All right, Norm Duke can step up in the 10th frame, throw a double. And shut out the Fury. 258 max score for the Strikers, 249 max score for Phoenix. Two strikes and just two. Norm wants the first. Norm Duke has the first. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, one more reason, all right? Hey, uh, did you tell anybody that this guy's 56 years old? I was wondering if you threw that out there. He spoke with us the other day about Father Time being so merciless to his game, but this guy is still a tremendous star. Strike and two. Strike and two shuts out Phoenix Fury. All coming down to one of the greatest that's ever laced him up, Norm Duke. He was talking to us the other day about what he's going to do after he retires, but this guy is still tremendous bowler. Here's that strike he needs. Oh, yes! Man. Duke that's why does it again. This team might be tough to beat. They You're look real solid. Their ball reactions look great. They do 
they're doing exactly what they should be doing to attack this oil pattern. And boy, has it really showed up in their scores. Just needs two. 267 game one, 258 enormous strikes right here. Pretty solid back-to-back -back games for the Dallas. Convincing win in game one. Game two, Randy was in doubt till the end. When the wee Iceman stepped up and delivered again. What a bowler. What a team. Dallas Strikers moving on. First Carter Division semifinal, thanks to the Hall of Famer Tommy Jones, future Hall of Famer Bill O'Neill, and Hall of Fame superstar Norm Duke goes to the Dallas Strikers, two games to none over the Phoenix Fury. They're moving on to the divisional final. Kimberly joined by the winners. So, Norm, you said at the top of the show that you guys need to strike and strike a lot, and you absolutely did that. You lived up to your name. How was it you guys were able to figure out the lanes when the Fury had a hard time doing that? Well, we started on uh, the right lane. We knew it was going to be the tighter of the lane. The left lane is kind of the one that's squirrely because you just don't know. So they had trouble on the left lane. We were able to get 1-0 at them, and that is huge. You know that. Well, Randy said this was one of the strongest performances on a team that we've seen thus far. What do you think about that? Well, what does Randy know? You know, he's just a he Hall of Fame. Lot. He's just a Hall of Fame bowler. I mean, what the heck does he know? And he paid you guys a great compliment. Congratulations to the entire team. You guys are now moving on to the divisional finals. We love it. We love it. Kimberly, thanks. <laughs> one card to the division semifinal down, and one to go. So Dallas wins over Phoenix, two games to none. Now it's time for the second Carter semi. Philly, Philly will take on Las Vegas after earlier tonight. Anthony Division semifinals. Portland and Bruce City advanced to the divisional championship. Let's meet the teams now for the second Carter divisional semifinal. Yeah! Yeah! Philly Hitman. Taking dead aim at the Elias Cup. Messenger down goes the 10. Here are the Philadelphia Hitmen. And Elias Cup champion with 10 PBA regional titles, Sean Maldonado. The 2019 Roth Holman doubles champion, Matt Ogle. He owns three career PBA Tour titles, Jason Sterner. A three-time PBA champion with two majors, two-time Steve Nagy Sportsmanship Award winner, Tom Smallwood. An eight-time PBA champion with two majors and former Elias Cup champion, Tom Barrett. The Philadelphia Hitmen are managed by USBC and PBA Hall of Famer Jason Couch. Here come the Las Vegas High Rollers.
Vegas High Rollers. Ready to roll some high numbers in the PBA League. The 10-time Venezuelan Player of the Year, Ildemaro Ruiz. A six-time member of Team USA, A.J. Johnson. An 11-time member of Team England with one PBA Tour victory, Richie Teach. The 2018 USBC Masters Champion with two PBA Tour titles, Andrew. Anderson. He owns four PBA Tour titles with two majors, Francois Lavoie. The Las Vegas High Rollers are managed by PBA Hall of Famer Amleto Monticelli. Halfway home, Carter Division semifinals. Welcome back to Centerville, Dave and Randy, my Hall of Fame broadcast partner. That was impressive. Dallas Strikers are the two seed, but and all kidding aside, Norm had some fun with the interview with Kimberly. Yeah. That team will be really tough to beat here at the Elias Cup. Yeah, they looked real solid. I mean, it, when you look at their numbers, uh, Tommy was three of four, Brad uh, was three of four, Pate three of four, O'Neill was four for four, and then Duke five of seven. And it's a lot of striking being a lot of strikes being thrown, but more importantly, they're grouped together. And so that was uh, one of the reasons for the big scores. But if you look at the scores, that the Las Vegas High Rollers shot last night, uh, 243, 267. And their numbers are just as impressive when you look at their lineup top to bottom with A.J. Johnson being perfect, Richie Tees perfect, and Andrew Anderson perfect. So uh, let's not underestimate this team. Also, this is the first time we are seeing the Philly Hitmen. Uh, managed by Jason Couch, they are the number one seed. Nobody gave them a chance, and here we are seeing them for the first time. 3,200 total pins with bonus pins in the positional round for Philly. There's a reason they're the top seed, and Tom Barrett is going to be a tough, tough bowler to beat, five on five in the Baker format. Yeah, I agree. And then take a look at the odds right here with Philly being at minus 150 and Las Vegas being at plus 110. Uh, you know, this Philly team has got some great players on it with Tom Smallwood and Tom Barrett, and then Jason Sterner, Matt, and rounding out the rest of that team, Sean Maldonado. So, I mean, they're all tour proven. Um, everyone's won a title on the PBA tour with the exception of Sean Maldonado, but he's been there plenty of times. Those are the odds live on Fox Bet, available in Colorado and Pennsylvania, presented for entertainment purposes in all other states. Lots of experience, great bowlers set to go head to head. Carter Division, semifinal number two. Can the top seed Hitman move on, or will Francois Lavoie and Las Vegas hit a royal flush and make the divisional final? You're watching the PBA League on FS1. Three spots set, divisional finals. One spot still remaining to be determined tonight. Back to Kimberly. And Leto, let's start with you. You guys are coming off a big win from last night. So what's your strategy coming into this evening? The same thing like yesterday, basically. Stay in the process and uh, just uh, don't have any expectation and just concentrate on your game. And uh, whatever decision you make, be committed to it. Well, it worked for you last night. Good luck to you guys this evening. And Jason, you heard their strategy. How does yours differ? So I'm just going like to go with the feet. same thing we went with all week with the, with the qualifying. We led. We deserve to be here. We're just going to go out. We're going to bowl as a team, and we're going to we're going to finish them off. Sounds like you feel like you have a lot to prove. I don't think we have a lot to prove after leading this week. I just feel like I've got the right team together, and I think we're ready to do what we need to do. All right. Well, good luck to you guys as well. Thank you. Philly, Vegas. Line up here tonight, Randy. Let's break these guys down. Sean Maldonado, Mal, Sean Maldonado will lead off, followed by Jason Sterner, Matt Ogle, Smalls, and the Dominator. And just a quick recap of Baker Bowling 
multiple players combining to bowl one game. And that's why you see Sean will start in he'll bowl frames one and six. Here we go. Race the two underway. First look at the hitman lead. Away. Top seeds. Against this high roller lineup. Johnson was outstanding and emotional. Last night in the divisional quarterfinal win. The good news, at the end of the night, I'm told, AJ and Brad Angelo posed for a couple pictures, had a little fun after. They did. Things got a little chippy last night at the start of that divisional quarterfinal. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like we never stop, baby. Let's go. Come He's on. pumped. He's ready. Nice shot. Nice shot. Big strike. Former high school quarterback. He's a fiery guy, you know, and he gets excited. And, uh, I like his energy. Just bought his first house, he told us. Yeah. Three-bedroom house, pretty pumped up. Here's Jason. His first shot, 2020 last cup. Nice. Yeah, Flash. Triple the 10. Jason Sterner mechanically, one of the most sound players out here. <laughs> All right, I thought last night this man looked as good as anybody on the lanes. Ruiz, first up for the night, and back. Was he rolling it nice? <laughs> and he's had big energy and having fun out here. Ildemar Ruiz from Venezuela. You think Amleto Monicelli had any influence on uh, his life and career? Sure They're lifelong friends, literally. He's known Ruiz since he was two years old. Marquis Amento, Venezuela. Two-hander, Matt Ogle. Oh. Ogle steps up his first yeah, job. Boy. Gets some help on the seven, down it goes. I can't remember being happier for a first-time winner when I saw how emotional Matt got after he won the doubles with Sean Rash. That's pretty cool. That's real. Hey, what do you say here, Richie Tees? One good one, bud. Do you have any idea where Feltham, England is? Tom Barrett does. Well, yeah, because he's from England. <laughs> Richie, he's got 10 back. Shot, have to Google that one. Great shot, Richie. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. Let's go. Greater London, how's that? He got the this one pretty far outside, just right of Big Ben. Just trying to throw another English reference in there for you, Dave. I liked it. <laughs> Look, kids. Parliament, Big Ben. Tom Smallwood. Ten pin. All right, run it down, run it down. <laughs> it is, in fact, in Greater London. Just... Yeah, that's because west of yeah, that's the city. Be, that yeah, that's because Cecil, our statistician, just Googled it and just I, showed you he the map of it. Beat me to it. I was literally that's not on even my phone with the same thing. Well, you wanted to know. Now you do. Uh oh. Watch out. All right, let's go, boys. Way off. Check them up. Check them up. You know they don't, they don't get a lot of practice prior to the start of these matches, and right. so they they don't want to it's waste limited. them on spare shooting. Although they get as much practice as they want prior to over on the lanes just uh, adjacent to the set. So they're not on the TV pair, you're not, right. But they're, they're probably not going to waste any shots shooting spares over here. Anderson, <laughs> former player of the year, PBA hey, Tour, leads the 10 Nice shot, nice great shot. shot. I think that's the first time that Andrew Anderson has missed in this year's competition. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he was 4-4 four four coming into tonight. Dallas striker last year. Hey, great spare, buddy. Here's a 10 pin for the 2018 USBC Masters winner. Nice shot, nice shot. I went uh, one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't need to. I mean, I, I loved it. Three-time member of Team USA. Oh, yeah. 
Tom Barrett, Great Britain. Colchester, England. He's had quite a career for himself. So great to see our international players back in action. Oh boy. Came in high, almost had the big four. That's just as bad. Four, six, seven. You're right. It's a tough conversion here for Don. Right after the missed 10 pin, Don Baird steps up, almost leaves the Greek church. 9 10 falls late. Six up, open oh. frame for the hitman, the top seed. Come on. Come on, guys. 240 is still a winner. 240 is still a winner. Let's go. Early days, Francois Lavoie. Two-time major champ. Hey, do the right thing. Yeah! Yes, sir. Beauty there. Nice Taking job. advantage. I'm the asshole, right? Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. High rollers a lead here, Randy. The high rollers are leading, Dave. Is it gonna be blackjack for the high rollers or will they crap out? Lots more to come here in Virginia. Stay with us. Head to PBA.com to check out the PBA Pro Bowling video game. The game features the top PBA pros, real equipment, authentic oil patterns, more than 100 tournaments and online play. Now available for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and for your PC. Hey, Jason, Randy up here in the booth. What do you tell your team after back-to-back -back opens to help right the ship? Well, unfortunately, we had a little miscue with the spare and then a bad open after that, but we just got to keep the pace going and, and make them work for it. Thanks, Jason. Team manager's ready. How about Sean Maldonado? Second half, first game. That's a good start for the hitman, the top seed. Let's go to work, fellas. Let's go to work. Trying, guys. We're trying. Great shot, kid. Great young talent, A.J. Johnson. Big shot, working on a strike, can increase the lead. So excited when we talked to him during practice to be back on TV and competing again. Vegas, left lane, Johnson. Two pin. It's been rare for AJ to take the spare ball out. He's been that good as a leadoff bowler for Las Vegas so far in PBA League. Got it. My bad, guys. My bad. Come on, pick me up. Pick me up. This part of the game brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at rate.com today for AJ. Piece of cake, right? Yeah, you can make it with his eyes closed. Disappointed himself for not striking. He liked that shot. Back to Sterner and Philly. Yeah, Flash! Ball game, baby. Ball game. Come on. Well, before we went to break, you heard the hitmen kind of huddle up, and they started talking after the open frame by Dom, and they said, hey, that's okay, that's okay. Lots of game left. 240 will win this game. Well, they could shoot 246 if they strike out. Runner up back in 2011. Longtime star in Venezuela. Ruiz. Oh! Oh! Pin trip down it goes. High rollers feeling good. Oh! I love this guy's energy, Rand. He's a fun guy. Fear the beard.
Matt Ogle, a PBA league rookie. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, wow. run it down. Run it down. Show, mate. It's like getting hit in the neck Good with show. a tranquilizing dart right there. Just like just all of a sudden you just you're done. And that's I mean, that's all it took was one hit to really kill any chance that they had to get back in this. I mean, now it's 225 max. Not not saying it's over yet, but. Whoa, and he whiffed on it. And after testing the laws yeah. of physics, somehow did not nudge the seven enough. He misses it. It's oh, an mate. open. And high rollers in great shape now. Well, now they don't deserve to win the game. Uh, you missed two single pin spares, a 10 pin and a seven pin, and uh, you shouldn't win the game. It's that simple. Oh He's looking for a knockout punch. Oh. Ringing oh. 10 pin. Great shot. There was hey, some shot. uncertainty great shot. Great shot. Great shot. <laughs> from the high rollers when that ball was heading down lane. Yeah, I don't know who was saying it. Do you, do you know who was saying, oh boy, when he let go Take of it? Take your time here. Take your time. Because that ball ended up in a pretty good spot. Hey, run it over, boss. Run it over. I'm thinking it was A.J. Johnson. Maybe. I'll go with that. Because Andrew Henderson does the same one. He doesn't. He's a pretty quiet guy. <laughs> Two majors, world championship, we'll ever forget that. Tom Smallwood struggled first time out. Ten same, pin. Same thing. This time it's a ring in right, ten. Uh, that was better. And they're running out of time. Big drip to the left. Opens up his hips, gets his body sideways so he can project the ball to the right. This time has his 10 got, got that one. We're ready. 203 max score now for the Hitmen. And Las Vegas high rollers can strike out to shoot 239. Former player of the year, Andrew Anderson. Another strike. Now, Las Vegas hasn't lost the game yet, Randy. They tattooed the Brooklyn Styles, the five seed, in the divisional quarterfinals here yesterday. And they are easing past the hitmen here. This guy's a former player of the year. And then just kind of disappeared for a while. He had some injuries and went through some other stuff and kind of lost his way, lost his game, lost his confidence. You know that thumb injury told us yep. about? Last year in Las Vegas, he was hurt in the World Championship. Didn't know how badly he hurt himself. Really sidetracked his game. Looking good here. Tom Barrett and the Hitman, though, need some answers in game two. I wonder why Dom's trying to go so straight. Let's ask Jason we can. Jason, can you hear Randy? Yes, sir. Why is Dom Bear trying to go so straight? Uh, he had a really good look in practice doing the same thing. He just, I just felt like he decelled a little on that one, bro. I think he's fine. He, he'll be fine the second game. All right, thanks, Jason. Amleto, how do you and your team keep the momentum going into game two? Well, uh, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, coming today, I just told them to have no expectation, enjoy the game, uh, trust your instinct, and uh, that's it. Thanks, Amleto. Thank you, buddy. It's working out well for the Hall of Fame manager. Lost wages, I'm sorry, I meant Las Vegas is going to take a one to none lead going into game two. I liked it. Thanks, Dave.
10 pin for Francois Lavoie. Right I, I think you gotta get it out on the lane as much. Because the tight end It's gonna be a little too early. 2020 PBA League expansion team Las Vegas yeah, has been I just thought losing it, it here. <clears throat> Andrew is telling Frankie Lavoie to try to spin it a little bit more so that the ball doesn't read quite as early. There it is. You can see him rotate around that one more and ring 10 this time. But nonetheless, it's a one game to none lead for the high rollers. They'll switch lanes and Jason Couch and company will try to make the adjustments needed to tie this thing up. Portland, Bruce City, Dallas already through to the divisional finals. Who joins those three? Vegas wants to keep it going. PBA League Division Finals tomorrow, 7 Eastern here on FS1. Also streaming on the Fox Sports app. We'll crown the champs of the Anthony and Carter Divisions and set up the PBA League Championship match. All right, baby, let's go, let's go. Let's go, go Which comes your way Everybody. Wednesday at 7. Game one, high rollers, no problem. Switch lanes, here comes game two. Sean Maldonado. Leads it off. Two-hander from Houston. Yes, sir. Big strike. Right, boy. Did you mention that the winner of this match will take on the Dallas Strikers? All right, we have a lineup change. Francois. Francois Lavoie is going to the fourth position. They're moving Andrew Anderson to the anchor position. Do you agree? I mean, I'm not disagreeing with it. Andrew's been awfully strong. But they uh, haven't lost the game yet. Yeah, I, I mean. I, chemistry? Baker Bowling? I probably I probably would have stayed with the same chemistry, but. Oh! Go! Come on, baby. You oh, wink at him. You wink at him. Tremendous athlete, A.J. Johnson, wink? pumped up, and he has been rocking here at PBA League this year. I love it. <laughs> You're doing some deep knee bends, lots of stretching. Getting ready for that shot. And he comes through. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, run it down. That seven pin looks like it's halfway off the lane. I don't know how that stayed on the deck for Sterner. That's yeah. amazing. It is halfway off. Yeah, it has to be, it actually has to be re spotted. Yeah. Watch this. Look at this. So it comes off its spot, it gets hit twice. <laughs> And now it's so far to the left that the machine can't even pick the pin up. It had to be reset by hand. The Hitman have had some amazing, just terrible luck with a seven pin All right. in this Take match tonight. Ogle right. had that wild whiff on the seven. All right, so respot by machine. Respotted, seven pin, Sterner. We'll wait a couple seconds, but no problem. He's a good spare shooter. You don't have to worry about oh, that. Gosh. Good show, mate. A little wide. And he slid over on his knee and did the. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? We have two players on the PBA tour that are from the same hometown in Venezuela. Marquis Cemento. Really? 7 10. All right, no. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Wow. Uh, was hey, lucky. Job. Amleto told us he met good Ruiz job. when right. Lamar was only two years old. He's been his right. Take your time. Take your time. life Take your time. mentor and coach, really, for Lamar's entire life. Families are very close friends. Well, I'll tell you, I, I studied Spanish in high school for three years, and for fun, every time I'm around Ildemar or Amleto, we just speak Spanish back and forth. And, uh, I've forgotten most of everything I learned, but it's still fun right. to right. kind of communicate hey, and talk with those guys, time. and they think it's hilarious when oh. I speak Spanish. So it's a it's a it's a fun thing that we we kind of do every time we get around each other. Meanwhile, right, little balk, and Lamar is going to go again here. 
It's okay. Just regroup and go through your pre-shot routine again. Great spare, buddy. Great spare. Takes care of it. Great spare. Millions of kids nationwide are without their normal access to sports and play due to COVID-19. That's why Fox Sports has teamed up with Good Sports to restore play for kids and the community organizations that serve them throughout donations. Well, brand new sports equipment. You can also help keep kids in the game by donating to Restore Play. Visit goodsports.org to learn more. Yeah, it's a tremendous uh, organization and charity that, uh, that Fox is a part of. And yeah, I'm so glad yes, to be sir. a part of that as well. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's well dig said. in. Let's dig in. Ogle strikes. And the hitman trying to regain some momentum here. Tyson company would like to shut the door in game two for Vegas. All even early. Great success overseas for Richie. That would have got like just a little bit further to the right. It would have picked up and came off. Yeah, great job, this it. Labeled that one. That one covered some ground. That was one of the best shots. Crunching the one-three pocket. Wow. That was really good, man. It's amazing. You look at his follow-through, and it goes to the right, kind of like old school, kind of like we used to do. Whereas today, you see most of the follow-throughs going to the left for right-handers. See that? It's the left side of his head. Yeah. All right, run it down. Smallwood can't buy a strike tonight. Sure. Again, check out the follow through. Look at that. Left side of his head. Richie T's out to the right. It's a good breakdown, partner. Cross lane, tap in, yes, for Smallwood. Guys. Frustrating. Right. Team right. bowling is frustrating. Yeah, if it's just it's you, it's like no problem. You can just like, you know, punch yourself in the stomach or something. You, you know, take it out on yourself, right? I mean, I've seen guys like rip their shirts in half and uh, they've taken their belts off and beaten their bowling balls on the ball return. But when it's team, man, you feel so bad for the rest of your guys. Le Bois. Do it. Do it. Yeah. All 10 back. Well, when it's U.S. Open in Vegas gonna, in 2016, yes, play in the Suburban yeah, Charlotte play. in 2019. Yeah. Couple green jackets. I don't know, Frankie looked, Frankie's looked awfully good, and then he just uh, kind of backed it up with that shot there. There's a lot of pressure going to be on Andrew Anderson now after getting moved to the cleanup role. Heading back to England after this, Weber Cup. Tom Barrett. There's the strike. There it is. Eight pin was paralyzed like, a, like it got hit by lightning. Watch, see if we can get another look at what the eight pin does. Look at that. He's not a happy man right now. So lineup change we talked about. Anderson anchoring. For Vegas. No! Wow. Hector! Those no, pins baby. had absolutely no chance, Randy. None. Yeah. Anderson answered the call. Beautiful Good shot boy, there boy. by Andrew. Well, if you believe in Lady Luck, then you probably believe in the Vegas High Rollers. The PBA on FS1 is brought to you by Go Bowling. For promotional offers, tips to improve your game, news or to locate a bowling center near you, log on to GoBowling.com. By Light Life, the official plant-based burger partner for the PBA. At Light Life, our passion is making great-tasting plant-based food with simple, clean ingredients. And by Guaranteed Rate. 
Mortgage rates are historically low. Save money at rate.com today. On lane graphics tonight, including the ball tracer courtesy of Clutch Bowling. Man, they look great. Love me some Clutch Bowling, Dave. Here we go. Game two, high rollers one, game one. All right, let's go, Maldo, right here, baby. 218 one night. Now, the second half of second game. Sean Maldonado gets it started. Lead off bowler for the Hitman, the top seed. Trying to force a roll off. He looked away. That's why. That's why. 3 6 7 10. Want to break your heart? Yeah, right here. he didn't like it. As soon as he left his he hand, this. he got it right oh. early. Bad time for oh, that to happen. They were down by 20, working on a strike, and right out of commercial break, just added to the deficit. This guy's been money. AJ Johnson, six time member of Team USA, <laughs> has been tough to stop. 34 pin lead. Four bagger possibly here. To go up by 44 for Las Vegas. Johnson. Yeah. Another yeah, one. Yeah, baby. You want this. Let's go. Come on. I mean, that's just a great shot. He takes full advantage of the opening given to him. They're working on three in a row, and he aces it. Yeah. This is what yeah, we call baby. aces you full in Let's Vegas. Go. Come on! All the Vegas references are required tonight. You've had some good ones. So have you. <laughs> yep. Time's running out. This is just uh, got to feel like they're like the the players on the Hitman's roster. They got to feel like they're slowly being poisoned. Big trouble. Stern. Has the spare. But they need strikes in a hurry. Marie yeah. steps up. Chance for the five bagger. Ditching the mask. He's like, forget it. This shot's too big. I'll come back and get it. Players can take the mask off on the approach and bowl with it off, of course. Good point. In tomorrow, the right Ruiz. Oh, yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Oh, 54 oh, pin baby. lead for Vegas. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Muy bueno, Il Dimaro Ruiz. Way to go, my friend. And I'll tell you, he's one of the guys that I spoke with them little last night after they got done winning. And I said, right you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I said, you know, oh. Il Demaro looks as good as I've ever seen him throw it. I, he looks great. And, and Amleto agreed with me. Right. Ten pin for Matt Ogle. Yeah, they qualified first and bowled great through the 12 games of qualifying to get seated for this. And unfortunately, they're going to lose 0-2 to the high rollers who just keep rolling along. Vegas, as we talked about, blasted Brooklyn, the five seed last night, divisional quarterfinals, two games to none, and they're about to mow over the hitmen. That's pretty good right there. All right. Good shot. Nine spare works. And they're already in the 230s. Good shot, good shot. All they have to do is just keep filling frames. Uh, max score for the hit man right now is only 205. 54 pin deficit right now. 
just make just make the spare and it's pretty much all but over strike streak over for Vegas at five you know they never bowled they, they never really bowled a huge game although they still can this game strike out for 259 but you know game one 218 to 190, but the Hitmen missed two single pin spares and had a big split in the middle of that game. Smallwood. Finally. That's what he's saying right now. Finally. Too late. Lebron switched up to the fourth position for game two. Interesting to see what Ambleto Monticelli has in mind for the divisional final. That's a winner. Yes, sir. That's it. Mathematically over for Las Vegas. Aces tonight here in Centerville, Virginia. Now the Dallas Strikers led by player manager Norm Duke await the Carter Divisional Finals tomorrow night. We're gonna hurry these guys through since it's mathematically over. Pretty good focus by Don Barrett there. And this one is finished. Yeah, Jason Couch's team just never got dialed in, man. They, they struggled making spares and then had trouble hitting the pocket. The high rollers just keep rolling along. Another expansion team new to the Elias Cup this season, but this team has blended nicely together. Two games to none over Brooklyn. Two game sweep over Philly. Ilamaro Reese and his team are on fire. That's impressive. Bruce City defending champ Portland and the division finals. Vegas, Dallas, Carter division finals. That comes away tomorrow night here on FS1 at 7 Eastern. Kimberly with the winners. And Leto, your team took out Brooklyn last night, and then you just took out the number one seed. So tell me, how proud are you of your team right now? I'm really proud, and because they're listening very well. So you know, what can you expect? They're really bowling well. They're making the right decisions. They're committing to the shots. Staying the process, just like I told, told them yesterday. Absolutely. And Andrew, you know, Frankie has been in the anchor position all last night and in the first match, and then you were put in the anchor position. You did your job, but why were you switched? Uh, in practice, uh, the, the right and lane, lane and left lane have been playing different. Uh, we felt there was a difference today, maybe more so than last night. Uh, in practice, my ball reaction was just a little better. I trust Frankie, he trusts me, and it's just whoever's got it at the moment, we're ready to go. All right, well, and Leto, you guys are now going to go up against the Dallas Strikers. What are your thoughts on that? You know, it's not, we're not bowling against them. We're bowling against the lane. You know, if we stay doing what we're doing, we're going to win. All right, well, congratulations on taking this round, guys. Great answers. Legendary manager, Amleto Monticelli, leading Vegas. PBA League Division Finals tomorrow, 7 Eastern here on FS1, also streaming on the Fox Sports app. Now for Randy Peterson, Kimberly Preston, the entire crew. Dave Ryan saying so long from the 2020 PBA League. The quest for the Elias Cup continues tomorrow night here on FS1 at 7 Eastern. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. Norm Duke, Tommy Jones, and company. The Strikers brilliant in their win. Same for Las Vegas, A.J. Johnson. Taking down the top seeded Philadelphia Hitman with ease, two games to none. That's a wrap for great bowling tonight from Centerville. See you tomorrow night at 7 Eastern.